If you've been following the news, you couldn't have possibly missed the big story from Taiwan. Tensions with China are escalating this morning as Beijing hits out at Australia's finger pointing. Fire drills in six zones surrounding Taiwan. The visit of U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi to Taiwan has angered China, which in response has announced extensive military drills close to the independent island. Pelosi's trip to Taiwan, which is separated from the Chinese mainland by a sea passage and has had a tumultuous past, is just the most recent diplomatic spat between China and the U.S. about the region. In this video, we will be talking about the China-Taiwan dispute and its effects on Australia. Let's start the video now without further delay. Why does China want Taiwan? There are a few factors at play. The most important one is that China wants to increase its might and solidify its position as a global superpower. The Taiwan question and China's reunification in the new era is the title of a white paper that China produced. A white paper is a phrase for a government report or authorized manual. China said in it that unification with Taiwan was the only option because this would support the Chinese government's efforts to promote increasing nationalism. The location of Taiwan is another issue. If China were to establish facilities farther out in the Pacific Ocean, this would increase its military power and frighten neighboring countries. The U.S. Island Chain Plan, which essentially consists of a barrier of islands between the Chinese mainland and the Western Pacific Ocean, would be disrupted if Taiwan were under U.S. control. According to the Australian Institute of International Affairs, if China had sovereignty over Taiwan, it would also have control over the principal shipping lanes in Asia. Don't forget about money either. According to the World Economic Outlook published in April by the International Monetary Fund, Taiwan's GDP would be close to 790 billion US dollars in 2021. The white paper emphasizes the economic benefits of recovering Taiwan, even though it notes that this is dwarfed by China's $17.5 trillion. In addition, China claims that Taiwan and it have deep historical and cultural links, which it claims stretch back to at least 230 AD. It is an indisputable fact that Taiwan is a part of China, according to the white paper. A one-country, two-system strategy, according to China, would guarantee Taiwanese citizens rights and allow them to enjoy a high degree of autonomy as a special administrative zone. However, the white paper forewarns that in the event of compelling circumstances, China will resort to drastic measures to retake the island. Despite the fact that the Chinese Communist Party has never held power on the island, Beijing sees Taiwan as an integral part of its territory. The reunification of China and Taiwan will be pursued peacefully, according to Chinese President Xi Jinping. In a speech in 2021, he claimed that the Taiwan independence was the main hindrance to the reunification of China. Those who disregard their history disrespect their motherland and attempt to divide the nation, which will not fare well, according to Xi. He declared that he hoped to see a one-nation, two-system approach, like that of Hong Kong, implemented for peaceful reunification. However, Taiwan largely opposes this form of government. What is China saying in response to Pelosi's visit? China launched military exercises in retaliation for Pelosi's visit. And according to the Chinese Ministry of Defense, these operations got underway on Wednesday with maneuvers in the air and on the waters around Taiwan. The number of Chinese warplane incursions into Taiwan's air defense identification zone and the number of planes crossing the median line dividing the Taiwan Strait on Wednesday were unprecedented, according to Taiwan's Ministry of National Defense. Additionally, China has halted the sale of sand to Taiwan as well as the import of several seafood products and citrus fruits from Taiwan. Beijing had already issued ominous warnings about the trip's potential outcomes, even going so far as to warn U.S. President Joe Biden that anyone who played with fire would perish by it. 
the background of Taiwan. The Republic of China (ROC), Taiwan's official name, was established on the Chinese mainland in 1911, following the fall of the country's final imperial dynasty. The Communist Party of China (CPC) army defeated the Nationalist Party or the KMT in a violent civil war in 1949, and the KMT fled to Taiwan, an island off the southeast coast of mainland China. The People's Republic of China was formally proclaimed to exist later that same year from Beijing's Tiananmen Gate by Communist leader Mao Zedong. Since then, the two sides have been administered separately, although they nevertheless share the same cultural and linguistic background, with Mandarin being the official language in both locations. When did Taiwan gain independence? Although the relationship between Taiwan and China has a complicated past, Chen Shui Bian's election as president of the island in 2000 signaled the first transfer of power from the Republic of China to Taiwan. Formosa, which means beautiful island, was the name given to the island by Portuguese sailors who were traveling by it in the 16th century. Residents later embraced that name. From 1683 to 1895, Taiwan was first ruled by China's Qing Dynasty at which point the Japanese assumed control of the island. But after World War II, Japan capitulated and returned Taiwan to China, which at the time was the Republic of China. Many Chinese in Taiwan opted to oppose the handover of authority and declare independence, forming what they dubbed the Free and Democratic Republic of Formosa, when China ceded the island to Japan in 1895. Soon after, China's civil war broke out and the communist forces routed the ROC troops. The remaining members of the ROC administration fled to Taiwan and mainland China therefore became known as the People's Republic of China. Locals in Taiwan organized a burgeoning democratic movement, which prompted the 2000 election. The firing of missiles into the Taiwan Strait during military exercises by China was confirmed by Taiwan on Thursday, August 4th, 2022. Is Taiwan a democracy? Since the 1990s, Taiwan, which has a population of more than 23 million people, has developed into a thriving democracy, with the KMT and the opposition Democratic Progressive Party trading victories in presidential elections. How big is Taiwan in relation to the UK, and where is it located? About 1,300 miles southeast of China and the Pacific Ocean sits the island nation of Taiwan. It covers 13,826 square miles and has a population of 23.1 million. In contrast, the UK is approximately seven times larger than Taiwan covering an area of 93,628 square miles. The island is separated from Asia's mainland by the Taiwan Strait. It is a significant international shipping canal and is only 130 kilometers wide at its narrowest point. Taiwan – Is it recognized by the UK? The UK has no diplomatic ties to Taiwan and does not recognize it as a sovereign state. The UK stopped recognizing the ROC in 1950 and was the first Western nation to do so for the People's Republic of China. Following this, the UK signed an agreement in 1972 that acknowledged the stance of the government of the PRC, that Taiwan was a province of China and recognized the PRC government as the sole lawful government of China, before closing its consulate in Taiwan. The United Kingdom's long-standing policy towards Taiwan has not changed, according to Lord Ahmad of Wimbledon, who stated this in July 2020. Although we don't have diplomatic links with Taiwan, we do have a solid unofficial relationship with it that is founded on significant business, educational, and cultural ties. We frequently advocate for Taiwan's membership in international organizations, where statehood is not a requirement and we make plain our worries about any action that could jeopardize the status quo across the Taiwan Strait," he said. We do not intend to recognize Taiwan as a sovereign state. Has Taiwan joined NATO? NATO does not include China or Taiwan as members. 
As a non-member, this implies that should China invade Taiwan, there is no assurance of support and assistance from NATO members. When one of its members is threatened, NATO often offers assistance, protection, and a unified front. But prospective members must first achieve certain political, economic, and military objectives. However, Joe Biden has already stated that in the event of a Chinese invasion, the U.S. would support Taiwan. That's the commitment made, Biden stated during a joint press conference with Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida. The one China policy is one that we support. We agreed to it. From then, all the related agreements were made. However, the notion that Taiwan may be seized by force is just inappropriate. Who acknowledges Taiwan? The People's Republic of China, the communist regime that seized power on the mainland, was voted to be recognized by the UN as the sole legitimate representative of China 50 years ago. Only 14 countries currently recognize Taiwan diplomatically, and as a result, China and Taiwan have no official relations. Some of those countries are Belize, Guatemala, Haiti, Honduras, Marshall Islands, Nauru, Pala, Paraguay, Swaziland, and Tuvalu. Importantly, the U.S. switched its formal diplomatic recognition from Taipei to Beijing in 1979, joining a growing number of other countries to do so. Washington recognizes the PRC as the only legal government of China under its One China policy, and it accepts Beijing's view that Taiwan is a part of China but it has never recognized the CCP's claim to sovereignty over the island. Under the rules of the long-standing Taiwan Relations Act, the U.S. has maintained strong informal connections with Taiwan throughout the years, fostering trade, culture, and other interactions through the American Institute in Taiwan, which serves as the de facto U.S. Embassy in Taipei. Is it possible for China to attack Taiwan? China now has the second largest defense budget in the world behind the U.S., with an estimated $290 billion in spending this year. This is the result of years of increasing military spending. Because of this, cutting-edge military systems like the J-20 stealth fighter, hypersonic missiles, and two aircraft carriers with a third currently under construction have been made possible. China's covert support for Russia's invasion of Ukraine has fueled rumors about what it plans to do with Taiwan and raised concerns about how the world would react if it launched an attack. Since Russia's invasion of Ukraine on February 24th, China has steadfastly refrained from criticizing Russia's action, blaming Washington and NATO for inciting Moscow and denounced the harsh penalties that have been placed on Moscow. The Taiwanese government has increased combat readiness and wartime planning due to worries about a potential invasion. According to a report from the U.S.-China Economic and Security Review Commission last year, China has increased the number of new missiles and amphibious ships in its arsenal, which are essential tools for navigating the 200 kilometers of the Taiwan Strait to the island. What part does the U.S. play in protecting Taiwan? Washington has traditionally supported Taiwan militarily and politically while being mum on whether it would help defend the island if it was attacked by China. As tensions between the little democratic island and its neighboring authoritarian behemoth grew, U.S. President Joe Biden's promise to defend Taiwan against the Chinese attack made headlines around the world in May 2022. Although there are no U.S. bases in Taiwan, U.S. officials acknowledged in 2017 that Taiwan's special forces have been training there for more than a year, including recent maritime operations with Marine commandos. According to Pentagon spokesman John Supple, U.S. military assistance to Taiwan is based on an evaluation of Taiwan's defense needs and the danger presented by China. What is Australia's position? After Pelosi's travel to Taiwan, Prime Minister Anthony Albanese encouraged calm and de-escalation. In his speech on Wednesday, Albanese announced the beginning of a comprehensive defense review of Australia's armed forces. Our region is experiencing greater friction and strategic competitiveness, according to Albanese. Additionally, in the area where China has taken a more combative approach, however, we have made it clear what we believe in Taiwan. 
we don't want to see any unilateral change to the status quo. Additionally, we'll keep cooperating with allies to advance harmony and stability across the Taiwan Strait. After Pelosi's visit, the federal government was keeping an eye on the issue, according to Defense Minister Richard Marles. Many security experts think that if China attacked Taiwan, Washington would expect some level of military assistance from Canberra. The Australian tabloid quoted former Defense Minister Peter Dutton as saying that it would be inconceivable for Australia to not join the U.S. in sending troops to defend Taiwan. Additionally, Tony Abbott, a former prime minister, criticized the Chinese government in a confrontational speech given in Taiwan last October. While speaking at a national security forum, which the president and foreign minister of Taiwan were present for, he referred to President Xi Jinping as the new Red Emperor. For many years, Australian administrations have followed the U.S.'s lead by keeping its support for Taiwan's defense against Chinese aggression a secret. But what do Taiwanese individuals believe? The Chinese ambassador to Australia, Xiao Qian, stated that he thought most of the people in Taiwan think they are Chinese during his speech at the National Press Club earlier this week. That isn't the case, according to a survey conducted by Taiwan's Mainland Affairs Council last year. Only 1.6% of Taiwanese respondents indicated support for unification with China, according to the study. Only 6.8% of respondents, however, agreed that Taiwan should proclaim its independence as soon as feasible. A staggering 84.9% of respondents favored keeping things as they were. Why wouldn't Taiwan desire to join China? Taiwan's residents have a say in the local legislation and how the self-governing island is administered because its leaders are democratically elected. China, a Communist Party-run authoritarian state, has a very different and much more repressive form of government. The troubled histories of China and Taiwan are another factor. The People's Republic of China and the reigning nationalist Republic of China were engaged in civil war at the beginning of the previous century. The nationalists withdrew to Taiwan in 1949 after losing the war decades later, but they persisted in claiming to be the legitimate rulers of all of China, as stated in the Republic of China's constitution. Why does the world value Taiwan? The global economy greatly depends on Taiwan's economy. Computer chips from Taiwan power a sizable share of electronic devices, including phones, laptops, watches, and game consoles. According to the BBC, Taiwan produced 65% of the world's computer chips in 2021, and one Taiwanese company, the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, controls more than half of the global market. China might gain control of one of the most significant industries in the world if they successfully invade Taiwan. Can a conflict over Taiwan start? Due to China's growing military power and aggression as well as the deteriorating ties across the Taiwan Strait, U.S. analysts are especially afraid that a conflict may occur. Such a war might lead to an encounter between China and the United States. That is because both China and the United States haven't ruled out using force to bring about Taiwan's reunification in the event that China attacks. According to a 2021 assessment from the U.S. Department of Defense, the People's Liberation Army of China is likely preparing for a contingency to integrate Taiwan with the PRC by force, while simultaneously deterring, delaying, or refusing any third-party intervention such as the United States. Analysts disagree on the likelihood and timing of a Chinese invasion. The senior American military commander in the Indo-Pacific warned in 2021 that China might try to attack Taiwan within the next decade, despite the opinion of some experts that such an assault is still some time off. Others think 2049 is a crucial year. Xi has underlined that Taiwan's unification is necessary to realize what he calls the Chinese dream which calls for the restoration of China's great power status by 2049. Russia's invasion of Ukraine in early 2022 sparked a new round of tension. Some commentators claim that Moscow's actions may give Beijing the confidence to attack Taiwan in a similar manner, while others claim that Beijing might become more cautious after seeing Russia's difficulties. 
According to CFR Sachs, China's propensity to use force won't be impacted by Russia's actions, and Chinese leaders will analyze Russia's missteps and change their operational plans to avoid repeating them. In any case, Taiwan has been a significant driving force behind China's military modernization, and the PLA has made preparing for a Taiwan contingency one of its top priorities. The PLA vowed to resolutely defeat anyone trying to split Taiwan from China in a 2019 defense white paper. Without assistance from elsewhere, researchers believe Taiwan lacks the capacity to repel a Chinese assault. Despite the fact that the Tsai and the DPP have made boosting defense spending a priority and have allocated a record budget of around $17 billion for 2022, China's spending is still thought to be about 22 times more than Taiwan's. Taiwanese lawmakers gave their approval to the Tsai administration's plan to increase defense spending by $8.6 billion over the following five years in 2022. A chunk of this enhanced military budget will be spent on cruise missiles, maritime mines, and advanced monitoring systems to defend Taiwan's coastlines. And there you have it, folks. As tensions between China and Taiwan continue to rise, a Chinese invasion of the island is looking more likely. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon. Leave a like, share with your friends and family, and jot down your thoughts in the comments section below.